In today's Morning Meds, we'll answer the question, should Christians get divorced? So if you're ready, then let's go. Welcome back to Morning Meds, where we meditate on God's word in order to tackle everyday issues that we face as Christians. And if you like what you see on Morning Meds, be sure to like, share, and subscribe so we can make it through this life together with the help of God. <laughs> Jumping right into it. God hates divorce. How do we know? Because he told us. Malachi chapter 2 Verses 14 through 16 says this. You cry out, why doesn't the Lord accept my worship? I'll tell you why. Because the Lord witnessed the vows you and your wife made when you were young. But you have been unfaithful to her. Though she remained your faithful partner, the wife of your marriage vows. Didn't the Lord make you one with your wife in body and spirit? You are his. And what does he want? Godly children from your union. So guard your heart, remain loyal to the wife of your youth, for I hate divorce, says the Lord, the God of Israel. To divorce your wife is to overwhelm her with cruelty, says the Lord of heaven's armies. So guard your heart, do not be unfaithful to your wife. So as believers in Christ, we should hate divorce as well. So that means your man getting on your nerves and your girl nagging you too much is not grounds for divorce. The only reason divorce is even a thing is because of us, mankind. Mark tells the Pharisees that it was man who begged Moses to grant them divorce. But God from the beginning intended for male and female, man and wife, to be together for life. Now this does not mean that Christians have to stay married no matter what. So let's discuss the very slim reasons that are acceptable in the Christian faith for us to get divorced. Any sexual sin that you can think of is grounds for divorce. This does not mean that you must divorce someone if they have an affair or if they cheat on you. That does not mean that you have to do that. But it is grounds for divorce in the eyes of God. Now, that does not necessarily cover remarrying. Remarrying is a totally different subject, which we will discuss at a later date. Another reason divorce is acceptable within the Christian faith is desertion by an unbeliever. Firstly, the Bible tells us do not be unequally yoked. Why? Because marriage is forever. Just because you become saved and your spouse does not, that is not grounds for divorce. But if that unbelieving spouse chooses to leave the believer, that is clearance for the believer to end the marriage. And lastly, physical abuse. I do not believe that God intends for anyone to endure persecution or physical abuse from their spouse, male or female. Jesus encourages his disciples to flee one city to another when they face persecution. You should not stay in an abusive marriage or relationship not bound by marriage. If you are a Christian and you are contemplating divorce, you must seek God's word and his thoughts about your specific situation. Allow the Holy Spirit to give you the words to say regarding your relationship with your spouse as well as your connection with God. God has not given us a spirit of hastiness, but of a sound mind. Let him lead you to your decision and nothing and no one else. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for all that you've done. We thank you for all that you are. We ask you, God, to look upon each of our specific situations, God. We don't know what the other has going on, so we know that you know, and we know that you will allow your Holy Spirit to lead and guide every person for what they need to do. 
Lord, we ask you, God, to give everyone the courage to get out of relationships that are abusive physically, that are causing them harm, that are violent. We ask you, God, to give them the courage to remove themselves, even if they don't get divorced, but to remove themselves, to get help, and to strengthen their relationship. We love you, God. We thank you for all that you've done. Keep us in, in your care. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.